In this video, I'm going to show you some data entry time-saving tips. The following tips will help you increase your efficiency of data entry when working in fast entry. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to the options menu, which can be accessed by this link right here, or there is also a button at the main menu. We want to configure the event fields. So click the little arrow, and then we want to work on the breeding females or the sows. And here is a list of all the events that you can add to a sow record. And then in this panel is the list of fields that are in the event. So some of these you may not use, and there's no point to have to enter through empty fields when you're entering data. So we can turn these on or off as you need to by simply adding a check mark or removing it. This form is for the fast event entry form and the batch is for the batch data entry and then this is for the handheld. They can all be configured independently. The other thing we can do is add an alias. For example, if you want to simply use numbers, you can put an number in here and then by typing the number one you will get the enter event as you're entering the data. You can also turn off events that you will never use and then they will not show in the drop down list box as you're entering data. For example, register pig, we can just, well that's already off. We can also combine events. Um, common one would be the Faro event and the Foster event. In this case I can simply add the net fosters, add up and subtract from all the dates of foster events and just put the net value in that field and I don't have to enter multiple foster events after a Faro event. Um, the other common one is a breeding group with an insemination or a mating event instead of at having to add that separately there's a field in that event that you can type that right in however just make note that that has to be that group has to be with the first mating so if you are adding more than one mating you can add the group multiple times but it has to be with the first mating to show up on reports the other thing we want to do in here is to go over our on off these are switches and you want to verify that they are correct for your farm. For example, this first one, verify mail identity and service. This will check as you make an insemination or mating event that you have typed in the correct bore ID if they are if they've been added into the mail file or the semen file. Um, another common one in here show alert if there's a wean discrepancy so if you add a wean event and the fosters and the deaths don't add up you'll get a little notice so some people want to correct those right then and there however if you don't normally record fosters or deaths consistently then you can turn that off if you don't want to have an alert with it every wean event that is not co not correct so you want to go through these these are all farm specific if you have more than one database you'll have to do it for each one. Um, another thing I want to show you is entering locations. If you're going to um, add a location event you have three levels. You don't have to, you have to add the first one for example barn room pen And if I want to, if I'm just entering location events, then I can go to the next animal record, and all I have to do is type in the pen number, and it will copy the the first two levels in with the pen number. So I don't have to type all of those three levels each time. Um, another thing that's helpful is if you are putting in multiple um, 
events to several sows and all you're doing is changing the date or for example well here let's try a how about we breed this sow And if I don't want to enter through all these fields, I just simply click the page down key and it will add it to her record. And now I want to breed her again. I simply change the date and hit my page down key. I don't have to go through all those fields. So that's a real quick one. Um, you can edit a record directly from this screen by simply double clicking it. And it will, you can edit right in here, but you can't delete in here. If you want to delete an event, you will have to click, you have to go to the female file. So click the edit history button. This opens up the file. And I want to delete this event. I just simply highlight it and then click my delete event. And it's gone. And then if I hit my F12 key, it will automatically save it and take me back to my fast event screen. So these are just a few things that should save you some time.